Hey guys, Brad here with Epic Blender Tutorials. Uh, today I want to shed some light on how you can make money using Blender. For those of you who don't know what Blender is, it's a very powerful open source 3D graphic and animation software. Uh, if you haven't gotten Blender yet, I would definitely do some research on it first uh, because Blender is a very powerful software and, and it demands a lot from the PC when it comes to using its features. So I definitely check it out first before you know downloading it, that way you kind of don't waste your time. So I'm going to go ahead and step right into it. Uh, the first way that you can make money is selling your Blender 3D models. Uh, I know that's kind of obvious, but some people actually don't know where or even how to sell their models. So there are a pretty good amount of ways, and I'll go ahead and go over them one by one. Uh, the first source that you have is called TurboSquid.com. Go ahead and pull that up for you guys. Okay, so I know the site does look a little saturated, but don't let that intimidate you. Uh, as you can see, TurboSquid does sort their models in different categories. Uh, for those of you who don't know where to start when it comes to uh, modeling, uh, I would personally recommend you start with landscaping. Uh, for, this, for this reason is because um, typically no matter what people are making, whether it be a game or cinema uh, or even digital art, there's usually always a plant or a rock or something in the background. So I would definitely you know, just browse the website, kind of get your feel for it, see what the prices are. Um, you guys got to remember that typically it goes by detail. The more detail you have, the more you can charge for it. Uh, for example, as you can see, like this little rock is f uh, $49, 50 bucks, which is pretty detailed. It doesn't look bad. That one's $50, and then you might find one for, you know, 99 Yeah, that one's really, really detailed. That actually looks real. That's insane. All 3D scan. I'm not exactly sure what that is. Okay. So that is one website. I want to show you guys another one. This one is called CG Studio. It's kind of weird the way ha the way they have the uh, their UR um, their URL. It's cgstud.io. So it's like Studio, just like cut and cut in the middle. So this is another website. It's kind of like Turbo Squid, as you can see. I mean, obviously they don't have everything completely categorized or as organized as um, Turbo Squid, but it's definitely another website that you guys can use to sell your models. So again, even between Turbo Squid and this website, I would definitely just go through the different models and kind of find out, you know, get a feel for the prices and stuff like that. Again, always, you know, go by that one rule. Uh, the more detailed it is, the more you can charge for it. I mean, that's personally how I see it. But this is the website. I will go ahead and uh, put the link in the description for both of those websites. I'm sure there are other websites um, where you can sell your models. I personally don't know of any. You know, these are typically the ones that I would use. Uh, another method that you can do is actually um, create your own website. Um, I know a really good website that you can use is uh, Shopify. I, know, I don't know if you guys ever heard of Shopify. I want to say they have a few commercials on TV, but I'm not 100% on that. Um, this is a really good platform. It's very uh, user friendly and they actually give you an option. You can actually sell digital or uh, or yeah, digital products, meaning, you know, they, they purchase it, you know, they, they get a link or whatever and they can download it, uh, whatever they need. Uh, as you can see that it's only twenty nine ninety nine. They do give you a free trial. I believe it's yeah, for two weeks. Um, no credit card or anything required. And even after that, like if you're not one hundred percent certain about it, I know that you can just um, email them and say, hey, you know, I'm not 100% on this just yet. I already uploaded a bunch of products to the website and I don't want to lose everything. They can give you an extension. I'm not exactly sure how long they can give you the trial extension for. Um, they can definitely give you an extension if you need. You know, they're definitely lenient and, and they're very understanding as well. Um, but not just for that, you guys can definitely look in here. They have a lot of information as far as success stories and not only that but how you can sell your um, your products so if you're having you know trouble or you're not getting traffic to your website they have a countless amount of articles and the best thing about it is all free and they can show you exactly uh, how you can get your business started with blender so so those are two different websites for selling your models I'll go ahead and step into the second method uh, that is actually selling um, your own educational material. I don't really have a website I can show you guys. Um, again, Shopify is another thing that you can use to, to use your, uh, you know, for your hosting to, to sell your, your material. But this can this can vary between YouTube videos, I mean YouTube tutorials, 
uh, again your own website but definitely ask yourself what was the first thing you did after opening blender you know you started looking up tutorials I mean at least that's what I did because anybody who opens blender you know I I don't know how you guys felt but I felt a little bit intimidated because there was a bunch of different options and everything in my face so you know no one just starts out an export so it, takes, it definitely takes uh, time and practice um, this gives you a lot of leverage because there's a supply and demand meaning instead of chasing the money the money will come to you the, the people will come to you you know with with a need of tutorials or, or material and stuff like that um, you can even offer one-on-one -on -one, uh, Skype tutoring uh, create a really descriptive ebook uh, or even sell a bundle of different detailed tutorials exclusively you know one by one or like I said just a bundle just make sure that you know blender well enough to teach others you know I'm not saying you guys don't know but I'm just saying if, if I'm gonna pay you to, t to tutor me I'm definitely gonna want somebody who really really knows what they're doing uh, this is exactly why pretty much for any method that I uh, that I give on this tutorial on this video um, I definitely recommend you guys get a uh, a sorry guys I can't type and talk at the same time um, definitely get a po portfolio because no matter what form like I said whatever no matter what form that you're using on this on whatever method you're gonna choose people are always gonna wanna know what you what you've done or your experience it's just like applying for a job if you're gonna apply for a job you're not just gonna show up and say hey you know I wanna work here let me work here right now they're gonna wanna see your resume they're gonna wanna see you know your background you know when you started and stuff like that so this is one website that I would recommend you guys look into is deviantart.com it's free so you can literally just join it and upload your material and you can just you know you can make a get yourself a, a URL and, and copy and paste it wherever you're advertising so people can just click on it and, and go straight to your artwork another really good method I would personally recommend rather than using DeviantArt is uh, starting your own website and just having your URL your first and last name that way no matter what it be whether it be a, a customer or a client you can just say yeah check out you know blah 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 dot com and they'll go there and they can see all your material so they don't have to do any downloading or anything like that for your models or any, any of your images they could just go online to your website check it out and make their decision at that point so that is, uh, that is uh, the second method that's uh, selling educational material the third method uh, to making money is actually selling digital art um, people don't usually take advantage of this uh, this is pretty much creating um, your art from digital to the physical if you don't know it's always an awesome way to get your name out there because where there's a wall there's picture and arts and art so I've seen you know art and stuff like that in restaurants people's homes gyms classrooms stuff like that uh, there's pretty much countless ways for you to sell your art so I would personally recommend you start your own uh, website or Facebook page uh, do a little marketing with that you know I know Facebook has a uh, um, option to where you can kind of promote your stuff which is really good and even better they has a way that you can target the people that you're you're advertising to um, or even check out eBay or Shopify I know that eBay has a, uh, a digital art section I'm not 100% you know I haven't done too much research on that I know that it's there but I don't know how well you can make a lot of money on that so definitely check that out or again you can use Shopify you know make your own website um, and link that to your your Facebook and Instagram uh, because nowadays everything's on social media so social media is a really good portal to pretty much lead people to your website uh, and also your potential buyers um, more importantly I would definitely recommend you guys do consignment for, uh, with your locally owned businesses uh, for example I have actually I actually have a barber shop um, in my local area I actually know the owner he's a good friend of mine he actually has a lot of artwork on his walls for people to look at while they they get their haircut done and on every single piece of art there, there's a price on it so if, if I'm sitting there you know getting my haircut and I'm looking at one specific piece of art I'm like dang that would look really good in my man cave or, or my bedroom you know I could just walk up to it and check out the price say hey I wanna buy this and then obviously the the artist gets a cut and you know my my barber friend he gets a cut as well so they kinda work together on it uh, if not, definitely take advantage of your local uh, festivals. Um, if your town, and obviously your town probably has a, a website that you know shows the events and stuff like that going on. Um, definitely see if there's any art festivals or farmers markets or, or any other uh, community-driven events. Um, 
I know in my local area, I live in Florida. I know there's like the the seafood festival. There's the art festival. We have a a, a Friday festival that goes on in in the downtown area of where I'm at. And you know, there's a bunch of different ways you can get your name out there. But uh, selling physical art can be difficult. But you know, Rome wasn't built in a day, so you definitely gotta you know start earlier rather than later. And the uh, the fourth method that I have for you guys is Fiverr.com. Uh, it's actually freelancing. Um, I know you're probably not surprised that this one's on the list. Uh, it's a very competitive field, but there's always work. People go, uh, people typically stick with creating models, but that's where they can sometimes get tired of it or they could fail at that. Um, there's countless things you can do with Blender, so I would definitely you know utilize it as much as you can. You could sell custom-made intros for people's videos, like their YouTube videos. Uh, you can create prototypes of people's inventions. Uh, you can even make like custom animations of engines or pretty much how things work. Um, I'll go ahead and type in Blender to show you guys what comes up. You know, you see, I, I will make your quality model in Blender. I know some of these actually charge the 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 price. Typically, it's it's five dollars, and then they pretty much discuss what it is that you need, and then the price will, will vary between that. Because, like I said, you don't want to build a whole steam engine for five dollars you know you, you definitely charge by you know you could set your own rate you know twenty dollars an hour forty dollars an hour um, or just charge a, an overall price on how much you're gonna you d you're gonna do the whole thing for um, but like I said definitely have your portfolio linked to this if you are gonna go this route because I mean me personally if I was gonna pay you five hundred dollars for an exploded view of a car engine or something I'm gonna need to see your previous work so Definitely check that out. Um, if not, uh, you can always make your own website again that you can offer your services on. That's another good way to build your name is, is offering the, uh, you know, having your own website and letting people kind of get to know you personally where it's strictly your own art. So I would definitely look into that as well. Um, and definitely, you know, make sure you, you do have the experience to do this as well. I know a good way that I got started was throughout the day I would either take random pictures or or write down things that I could model later and kind of practice with. Uh, that actually got you know that actually got me going really really well. Like you know I would I would go out and might see a car that I like, or you know I might be eating for lunch and I saw like a, a pl plastic bag or something. Pretty much anything, because you never know what the demand is going to be when it comes to Blender or who's going to ask you to build what. So it's always good to have pretty much anything under your belt, whether it be big, small. You know definitely practice with it. So the fifth and uh, last method that I do have is selling stock images. Um, I'm sure you guys probably could have uh, guessed this one. Uh, this is a pretty broad market as well because almost anyone online could use a stock image. Uh, is really good for like people who use blogs or uh, people who have business models. You know, people definitely need them and, and they're definitely willing to pay for them as well. Um, again, this is uh, iStockPhoto.com. I will put the link in the description. Um, and I definitely do a lot of browsing on this website so you can get info on not only like the pricing but what the demand is kind of find out you know what people are uh, are what what they're buying supply and demand they got women intimacy she said I didn't think they would have that but all right all right yeah maybe I shouldn't click that okay yeah that's not bad okay so yeah you can kind of get an idea of uh of exactly how you can you can uh utilize your stock images and I know with some of these prices they might be like oh wow that's actually a lot $33 for a three cry image that's not just that one but I mean I've, I've seen some of them go for like 50 cents you know 20 cents and stuff like that you guys understand that yeah you could sell it for like 20 cents but if you have like a thousand customers or you know 500 people if you make that one good stock image that's just blowing up you know you can make a lot of money with it and the best part about it is that you could literally be sleeping and someone can be online browsing for your for your work which isn't which doesn't just work with stock images um, it also works with your models or anything if you have a website pretty much the, the the key point is is trying to use time as your leverage that's the best thing about um, blender is that it doesn't you know 100% require your time so again you could be sleeping you can be going out to eat and before your check even gets there, you could have made that money back online um, if somebody would have bought some of your work or tutorials or anything like that. So, 
So uh, that's it for this video, guys. Um, I don't want you to think that this is, there's only a five different ways for you to make money with Blender. It's a really versatile market. So I'm sure I'm leaving a few methods out, but in due time, I will gather more information and, and try to make another video um, with new features and, and, and new ways that you guys can make money with Blender. As far as these methods, um, I want every single method that I list I listed in here, I'll go ahead and uh, put it in the description. Also, I'll put the links in there so that you guys can see um, you know, a direct link to the different websites. And also put a few that I didn't list because I know odds are when I'm done uploading this video, I'm going to think of a few more. Um, but definitely look into it. I also will be uh, doing detailed, very, very detailed tutorials and stuff like that on how you can get started with Blender. But uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. Again, my name is Brad with Epic Blender Tutorials. See you guys later.